If you want to learn the quickest, best, most efficient way to get kefir cheese like this, you're going to want to stay tuned. This is absolutely the easiest. To make kefir cheese, it is the easiest thing, and you're not, you probably already have everything you need. So, you need to start off with some kefir milk. I have my homemade here. You need, uh, I would consider this like a medium to large size strainer, and it doesn't matter if it's metal or nylon or whatever, just a strainer. Some kind of bowl, or this is like a, um, storage container that this could sit basically above and then you're going to need a coffee filter and that's it and we could do this kefir cheese quick and easy so in your strainer in your container you're going to put your coffee filter and it it might not you know fit right in there at first that is okay now if you are using like a store-bought kefir you don't have to have another strainer. I only have this because I'm using my fresh made kefir. So I have to strain out to make sure I don't get any of the little kefir grains in here. And then you're just going to fill this in here. Now if you are using store-bought, you would just simply pour it in there. That's all you have to do. In my case, I'm just going to strain this out with my fresh homemade kefir. And that's why on this one, it doesn't matter if the strainer you're using to make the actual cheese is a metal one. I know a lot of times when it comes to kefir, they tell you not to use metal, but in this case for the cheese, it's okay. And then I always have to straighten out the coffee filter just a little bit. Try to get it in there as even as possible. Just because I like to get as much of the milk in here so I can make a lot of cheese. And if you are doing it from scratch, like you're using your homemade kefir, this is what you'll do. So I'm at the point where I need to strain my kefir, and I'm just going through here and doing it that way. You'll see the coffee filter is filling up. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me with that bell notification. So you get notified every time we put out a new video. We really appreciate that. And I hope you have at least tried kefir. And if you have tried kefir, this is a perfect next step level to kefir. Like I freaking love the kefir cheese. There are so many uses for kefir cheese. This is my husband's favorite. He's not as much into drinking the kefir. So if you have friends or loved ones or children who don't like the actual drinking of it, because some people, it's like drinkable yogurt, and so not everybody's into drinking the kefir, such as Hungry Heat. This, on the other hand, is like a really, I kind of think of it as like goat cheese. If you've had goat cheese, it's a very creamy kefir and it is such a great thing to do with kefir so again you're still going to get a lot of the bacteria in there and you'll end up with the whey separated that's what the bowl's going to catch all the way there are so many uses for whey you can even take a shot of whey for the added health benefits that whey has or i add it to my dog's water 
and it's very healthy for dogs to drink whey. And I tell you what, Samson and Delilah absolutely love, love, love the whey water. Uh, you can use it to make even a whey soda. It's great for stain removers on clothes, and I have tested that. I took some of the whey, put it on a couple stains. If you're new here, you know, we get a lot of grease stains. And so I used the kefir, I mean, the, yeah, the kefir whey, added it to the stain and let that sit for at least several hours, preferably overnight. And I tell you what, it got those stains out. I was amazed. Better than the commercial stain removers. And you're already going to get it for free with this. So that's something else you could do. It's also kefir way is a great way to have a starter culture to your ferment. So if you are fermenting vegetables, krauts, other items, cultured foods like cultured butter, uh, mayo, ketchup, mustard, kefir whey is a great addition to those. And it will already give it those good ba uh, pro probiotics and bacteria. And it works as a starter. So, got this all poured. It's almost to the rim. I usually try to go just a little shy because I don't want it to spill over, basically. And all we have to do is put this in the fridge. Uh, up to 24 hours. Now, sometimes I let go over. Sometimes it's a little under. But basically, till it gets to the thickness you want. The longer it sets here in the fridge, the more thicker it will become. Or I guess the thicker it will become. Uh, obviously, I, I don't have a PhD in English. So... That's, a, you could do this as little as a few hours. It'll have kind of the consistency of like a sour cream. And which, this is a great substitute for sour cream. So you can do that just for like four to six hours. And it, then you have sour cream. Or if you let it go for the full 24 hours, it, it's going to be really thick. Like a goat cheese or a soft cheese. And then I have gotten it thicker, even thicker, and almost to a cream cheese consistency. So you let it go. You'll see, like at the beginning, it'll kind of shrivel as it uh, sucks or all of the whey comes out of it. And then that's perfect. And again, this just used, oh, about two cups of kefir milk. So that's all you need for this. So I hope you give this a try. Please comment below if you did try it or if you have eaten kefir cheese. I know that there is a brand called Greek Gods that makes kefir cheese. So let me know if you've ever had it. And also comment if you will be making this. I can't wait to hear all about it. Thank you all. And please stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank you all so much for helping us every single month. Y'all are amazing. Bye. So it has been almost 24 hours. And you see how it draws it in. And all you do is kind of peel the paper back. And then put it in a bowl. And it peels just so easy right off. Because the way makes it almost slip right off of the filter. And then you go through and get the little scraps if you want. Just pour it in a dish. And you see it's like a soft cream cheese or soft goat cheese and you can add whatever seasonings you want and it's perfect to serve it right now eat it with your favorite like pork rides egg life chips whatever you want or honestly just eat it by the spoonful it's so freaking good